Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Boy, this is frustrating because it's like the third time I've tried to do this and I can't find a memory card uh, that is not completely full. I guess that's my problem, not yours. I've just had a bunch of stuff piling up from various places. I have Nordstrom, I have Sephora, I have Macy's. Do I have Ulta? Uh, I, I don't know. Let's just say it's a big old box of a bunch of stuff that's beauty related that I've collected. Um, that I want to share with you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of just go randomly and let you know where I got the stuff since it is an absolutely no semblance of order whatsoever. I placed an order with Macy's because they were having a phenomenal sale and one thing that I've always wanted and I've never picked up because I never wanted to pay full price for it but I wanted to pay less than half price for it which I did in case you don't know what I'm talking about. It is a Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and it is prettier in person than I could have imagined. I absolutely, you've heard me say it a gazillion times, love the aesthetic of Too Faced. This is a matte feeling. This Cocoa Contour and the Too Faced are raised gold. It of course has the cute little heart, which I always just want to like push and open. They need to do that because I, they just need to. Instead, it just opens up this way. It has a beautiful mirror as usual, and this is the palette. I've always wanted this palette. It has two, I'd say, not highlighty shades, but shades that you can use to set under your eyes. One is a pinky tone, one is a banana-y color. There's one peachy blush, and then there's three various shades of bronzer colors. Unfortunately, I'm a horrible swatching person. Bax, do you want to do some swatches for me? Well, that's a little bit better. And not great, but a little bit better. Unfortunately, the shades are not deep enough for all skin tones. On my particular skin tone, the colors are beautiful. These colors are wonderful for contouring. This is great as just an all-over bronzer. And of course... I can sniff it till the cows come home. Doesn't smell as good as some of their other palettes, uh, but it smells really, really good. And this was $22.50, I believe. Oh, did I forget to mention, yes I did, that it also came with this adorable brush. I have one very, very similar to it in a whole box that I got, but hey, a free brush that comes along with it, as you can see, I have used it generously. I was not going to balk at that fact. I had also ordered it because they said it would come with a free gift. The free gift was not impressive by any means. It's not like Ulta free gifts, you know? But it did come with a Versace Eros. I don't even know if this is a men's or a woman's. I didn't even open this, as you can see, and it's been sitting here for like two weeks. I really don't know if this is men's or women's, uh, but I like it. And I would totally wear it. I'm going to totally wear it. And uh, if it was meant for men, oh well. This little guy is by Catherine Malandrino. I have not tried any of her stuff, but let's see. Okay, that's like amazing. It's fruity. Ooh, it is called... Love de Venice. Uh yeah, that would be Lux de Venice. Snap ahead. Wear your glasses, Leanne. Um, that is gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I really like that. There's another one, La Via Belle by uh, Lancome, and I do love this. It is a beautiful, just classic scent. And then the other thing is just, I can't even believe they include this in a thing. It's cashmere mist, which I have and have loved. I have and have loved. I have used and have loved for quite some time. I remembered that there was a much larger gift. Am I going to argue about it? No. Other things I bought because they were just so freaking cute. These are terry cloth, and it is just a... It's just a makeup bag. Inside, it has a little pocket in here, and it's satiny in here, so it's, I wouldn't say it's washable. They said this had a value of $25. Uh, I paid $8 for it, and I think $8 is a much more worthy price. 
I bought two of them so I could include one for you guys to put stuff in for a giveaway. So here's the other one that I bought. I bought one for me, like, of course. The other thing I got, which was, again, ridiculously on sale, I think it was, oh my goodness, will you stop texting me? As I was saying, this was like five bucks. I don't know if it's a free gift, but I paid five bucks or six bucks or something like that for it. It was the cutest freaking thing. What got me was the darn ears sticking up out of it. It's a masking set. Oh, it's got a little suction cup mirror, which is so cute. Oh, and this is really nice. I needed another one of these. And wow, this is heavy. I don't know whether it's a real stone or not, but it feels beautiful in my hand. It is a masking silicone brush, and I like it because it's a little concave, and it will get really nicely up against your face when you're doing it. And this is like a rose gold handle. I like it. It comes with a headband as well, and it says fresh face. That's really, really cute. And it's got a nice Velcro to it, so that's really nice when you're washing your face so you don't have to, like, tie your hair back or whatever. The mirror is super cute that it's got a suction cup in it. And OMG, I mean, seriously, I absolutely love this. It is just a scrunchie, but I like it. I'm such a child. And then a the nice little silicone bag. I love these silicone bags because, oh, it's raised. This says Mask Made in Heaven. And that's raised. They are so easy to clean when you get stuff and in it and it gets dirty. You just wash it and it's fabulous. And I like it. Okay, so these next things I do know that I ordered them from Nordstrom, but the box was soaking wet, so I just kind of threw it all into there. It has a broken shadow, unfortunately. I'm just going to repress it because these were uh, non returnable because they're makeup geek shadows. I have never tried Makeup Geek Shadows, and I was so intrigued. But this is her old stuff, and though, so they were getting rid of it on clearance. So I don't care. Ooh, look at that. Holy shnikes. This one is called Bronze Solstice. Her mats are extremely creamy. Look at how gorgeous. I don't want to hold it up because that might fall out. I'm going to repress that. It's not a huge deal. And it was like $3 or something ridiculous like that. Look at how pretty. I'm so excited to try Makeup Geek Shadows. I've never tried them. I would like to order some of her new stuff, but it is rather pricey. I love her new palettes, um, but I can't drop like, you know, the hundred and something dollars. Yes, I can get a small one, and I may eventually, but for now, I'm happy to try her old packaging, and I believe the formula is the same. So here is the other one that I ordered, and this one is called Vivacious. These are magnetic, and it's really cute. This is just a very simple but pretty color story. There are three mattes and one shimmer, which is, of course, the purple. Beautiful texture. Those are some pigmented shadows. How could, how could I not? Well, of course, how could I? I mean, I could have not, but I didn't not. Does that make sense? Here are two more of them, and I got these for you guys for future giveaways, so I would like you guys to try them too. Also at Nordstrom, and this is Nordstrom Rack, by the way, not Nordstrom's. Your girl doesn't shop full price. <laughs> anyway, while I tear this open, this is an Urban Decay Pro brush. These are kind of pricey. I think this was like 12 bucks, but I really wanted to try it. It's just a flat shader brush for packing on metallics which is what I mostly use them for. It feels very soft. It's a very lightweight brush. This is meant to look like metal. It's kind of textured. I don't mind lightweight brushes as long as they don't break and they perform well. That is what is important to me. Okay, I also saw this Lorac, Lorac, Lorac. Oi, Lorac palette. I honestly don't remember what I ordered, I said, because it's been several weeks since I've gone into it. This is Urban Art Artist, DTLA, downtown LA maybe? Well, I don't know. That's very pretty. It's a very neutral palette. I think it has a blush and possibly a highlighter, but you can totally use those as eyeshadows as well. And it has four matte shadows that are, again, neutral but quite pretty. I'm not going to swatch it because I may put this in a giveaway. I haven't decided yet.
Here is another one. This is called um, Santa Monica from La Rock. Oh, look, I said it right. Hey. Again, these were so inexpensive. This is a beautiful packaging, too. This is a matte cardboard packaging, but this is, has a kind of satiny feel to it. Another beautiful neutral palette. Again, a blush and a highlighter, which can also be used as a shadow. And this one has two mattes and two shimmers. I did order these online, so you know that no one has touched them. This one I am definitely going to put in a giveaway. If you haven't tried Lorac shadows, I love them. I think they're beautiful. This one is called Venice Beach. It's pretty cool. It just has sunglasses with a bunch of words in them. That's kind of cute. Look at that. It, it has two, I would say, satins, because these don't quite look like true mattes. I am going to swatch this. Oh, wow. They feel amazing. Oh, look at that. Well, that's a stunning combination. And this one looks like a shimmery bronzer and a highlighter, which of course, again, can be totally used as eyeshadows. Oh, and look, one for giveaway. I don't know what I bought here. I, there's a NARS single shadow. I think I bought this. This is in uh, the color Topic. Look at how adorable this packaging is. Again, it's my favorite, that matte, soft touch material. Now I know why I ordered it. Look at that color. Now all I have to do is make myself use it. Okay, you know what's interesting? I thought that this was going to be a glitter or metallic shadow. It is one of the shadows. That's a gorgeous color. But it's one of the shadows that is matte with sparkle, like the Tati shadows. That kind of goes away. There's a little bit of the sparkle in there in silver, but it's mostly a matte shadow. And that's hard to tell, really, when you're ordering them online, because here it completely looks like it would be a glitter shadow or a metallic shadow. And it's not, but it doesn't mean that I don't like it. Here is another Makeup Geek palette. This one is called the Vegas Collection. Vegas Lights. How cute. So pretty. Just a beautiful neutral palette. Look at that. One matte. It looks like maybe a matte with some sparkle in it. A satin. And three not metallics, but definitely something with a little bit more oomph to them. I'm trying to decide whether I want to swatch this one or not or whether I want to give it to you guys, so I will not do it yet until I decide. And this is quite heavy packaging. It's Makeup Geek, and it's called Iconic. Beautiful packaging. I also saw that she had this storage case for everything, but I wasn't about to buy like a gazillion of these just to get the storage case. And it's a storage case for slim items like this. And this appears to be the color... That looks very pretty. Oh, she's a little bright. It didn't look as bright in the packaging. I think that might work, though. I think it's pretty. And this is another Makeup Geek. And this says plush. Plush something. And it is in the color BFF. Um, this was in the color proper. This is proper. And this is in BFF. You guys are my BFFs. Oh, this is a gloss, I think, or a lipstick, liquid lipstick. I can't even speak. Looks kind of Barbie pinky, or I, I don't know. Let's see. I think it's a liquid lipstick, but it's actually very pretty. I don't think it has a scent. I can put this on on top of this. Why the heck not? All right, it's a little light, but I'm not minding it. Oh, when I got another Ofra lip gloss or lipstick, yeah, this is a liquid lipstick because it is my favorite, favorite formula. And this is in the color Mocha. It's a little dark, but I don't know. I think I'm going to like it. That Makeup Geek feels so comfortable on my lips. What color is this one? This is another Ofra. This one is in Bel Air. I don't know if I'm going to open this one because it may be a color that I'm going to give away because I don't know. It may be too light for me. So I'm going to not swatch this one and see. For some reason, I bought another flat eyeshadow brush. Um, it's an E206. That's what the other 
what is this? A makeup brush from Urban Decay. I don't know why I got another one. Oh, look. I have another Vegas collection from Makeup Geek. I guess that's going into the giveaway, too. Oh, and I have a Stila Shimmer and Glow. I think this was like $5. An absurdly amazing price, considering how much these cost originally, which was $24. This is a gorgeous color. I have this color. So, Leon, why did you buy it? I bought it to put in, uh, yeah, a giveaway. I have two more things from Nordstrom. This is the Venus XS from Lime Crime. Oh, pretty. Oh, she pretty. I love that yellow. Please be a good yellow. So this has two mattes. The yellow and the orange are mattes. And the other two, there's a taupe, no, there's like a tan kind of shimmer and then there's a much more shimmery cream color those swatch beautifully look at the vibrancy of that yellow this tan one was a little chunky oh it's kind of olivey isn't it and then the shimmer i mean it matches my skin tone but you can't kind of see it i thought for some reason that the package was going to be much slimmer okay so then i placed an order at sephora and I actually picked up two of these Glacial Glow palettes uh, because they were originally $34. Now, they say they have an $82 value. No, no. You know, it's, it's a palette. Don't try to say that just because you put a lot of eyeshadows in there that they're worth so much more. It's a very, very heavy palette. Sometimes Sephora shadows can be hit or miss. Let's just swatch a couple of these and see how they swatch. Now what I also like is they, the two largest shadows, you can use that as a highlighter and a shimmery bronzer if you want. I have to try the matte black, which feels very, very soft. Okay, it feels soft. It doesn't have the best payout, but again, you know, not too many blacks do. Let's watch the two big ones here. They feel, they feel beautiful. Those are very pretty. Let's swatch a couple of more mattes. I'm going to swatch a cream, I like a chocolatey brown. Now that chocolate brown, it swatched beautifully. And of course the cream, it feels really nice, but of course on my skin tone, you're not going to be able to see it very well. Also very pretty. I can't wait to put these on my eyes and see how they look. Because if you notice the way they've done the palette, <clears throat> the eight shadows on the bottom here are all mattes. And they're all your basic transition and standard neutral matte colors. The rest of the shades are colorful and in varying degrees of shimmer or metallic, and then you have the two metallics in the middle. And as I said, for $10, I was very happy to give it a go. And, you know, of course I got you guys one because, uh, yeah, I did. Then they had this on sale for $7, and um, I don't need another sponge, but I wanted to try this because I love the pink Sephora sponge that I have. <laughs> it says, sponge grows two times its size when wet. Okay. It's the Pro Expert Blending Sponge. They're showing you. This is its original size, and this is what happens when it gets wet. What is it, a gremlin? It has a very firm texture. I do really appreciate the angles of it. It's it's really different. See how it like angles up this way? It's this way, and then it's flat, and then you have the little bouncy tushy over here. And this is the Michael Myers mask that it comes with. <laughs> oh, come on. Doesn't it look like it? I really do like these little eggy things. I have several of them. I don't go anywhere, but... Even putting it on my desk or my vanity, you know, it could be dirty. So I like these because I can throw it in there when it's wet and not worry about it kind of getting funky, you know? So they did have um, one of the spend 25, get something if you put in the code. And of course, I love my hourglass powder. I still haven't bought the big one because I keep getting the little uh, baby samples. And uh, I'm going to keep getting the little baby samples because it's a very expensive powder. Then I got this little guy. This was on sale for $4.00 half price or even less and I needed it to clean my hairbrushes of course I have this hair so you know what my hairbrushes can look like and all this is is one of those hairbrush cleaners it looks like a little baby rake I mean you can use it in your garden if you get bored you know what I mean 
but uh, they work well. I didn't have one. And then I needed some more of these because in my messy room I can't find my other ones. They are just, ooh, how pretty. I did not realize that they had these handles. These gorgeous acrylic or plastic handles with suspended glitter inside of them. So super pretty. They're just silicone applicators that, well, this one's a bit, this one's a bit thick. I, I thought it, they were both flat. This one's flat, which is wonderful for glitters. This one, I, um, <laughs> badly am. Um, I, I don't know. Why would you need a rounded one? It looks like, why, why, why would you need a rounded one? I thought that they were both flat. It doesn't make any sense to me why you would need this for glitter. I don't even know what to do with this. I know what to do with this. I have no idea what to do with this. It was really on sale, so I'm not um, upset about that. I just, I, I don't know. So that, my friends, is it. I got a bunch of things for a giveaway. And I got a bunch of stuff that I'm excited to play with and try. I am hoping for a get ready with me extremely soon. I have so many, so many things that I want to try on these eyeballs. Um, can somebody do me a favor and just, just stop time for five minutes? Like, just give me like, actually give me like an hour. Yeah, that, that would be good. Can we just do this on like the time thing so I can have more of it? Yeah, I will, I will get to them because I enjoy them so much. I enjoy sitting down and it's like, I love when you guys tell me that you're doing your makeup with me because it's so much fun and I love that. So let me know what you think. Honestly, all this stuff, I mean like $3 for like some of those makeup gig shadows. I mean, it's amazing. If anything is still on sale, I'm going to link it below in case anyone's interested. So maybe I will get this video up sooner than later because if you guys are able to pick it up, if you're able to, you know, to do that for yourself, then I would love to be able to help you out and link it. Of course, you know the links help me out because I do get a little baby commission from it. I think you guys know that already because I tell you all the time. So that's it, my friends. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I can't say it enough. Whatever part of the world you're in on around, I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you had an amazing week. I'm going to clean this up and maybe go play with some more makeup because I like it. And I will see you really soon in my next one. Mwah. Much love, everybody. Bye.